all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as you the what uh, in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you'll be the first to collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot now the colonel's case should not be treated as a legal matter former chief george the former chief judge of anambra state peter umade has stated that a political option is best in resolving the case of the leader of the indigenous people of biafra maz namdekano amadike one of ndibo the former judge asserted that Kano's case should be resolved politically instead of legally. He stated this while speaking to newsmen in Abuja on Sunday. The 2023 presidential candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Apoga, argued that Kano's release would resolve the insecurity issues in the Southeast. According to Madi, well, the issues of insecurity in the Southeast, first of all, it has been said before, and I agree. For now, it is a serious matter. If it is resolved, then that is good, a problem. If it is not solved, then you begin to look for another reason why it is still there. But for now, everybody is saying it, and I agree that the issue of Nam de Kano should be treated as a political matter and not a legal matter. So if he regains his freedom, perhaps that will be the end of what we are seeing the southeast now perhaps um when i don't see i see the hot um i think um the the best thing is to let the government i think i go with with what uh the former judge chief judge of anambra state is saying that the best way to handle mazen and the kind of case is not through legal means but through a political means and of course you know that the president of the federation with his veto power has the the capacity it is in his capacity uh, to discharge mas and the to to should I, if i should use the word pardon even though the man uh, hadn't committed any criminal offense uh, that could engender uh, him being incarcerated in the dss custody for uh, getting to 2 years plus now he was firstly he was extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria. And um, still upon that, uh, the, the court, uh, the appellate court discharged and acquitted him of all count charges that were leveled, that were leveled against him. And, and still on that, uh, and still on that, the, 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 the attorney general of the federation still took the matter to, to, uh, 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 to the Supreme Court of which the Supreme Court have not come up with any good judgment since then. It has been from one adjournment to the other and one adjournment to the other. And as it is now, uh, what this man is saying is purely right because uh, I think the, the best way to sort out the issue that concerns MNK is to handle this matter through a political means. And of course, you know that the president have a veto, has the veto power to release uh, Mazenan kind of from the DSS detention he has that power of pardon now uh, you, you you can see what is going on in the southeastern part of nigeria and i believe that if if tinubu the, the president of nigeria already have the interest of the southeast at heart everybody has proffered the release of nandiskano as the solution to the insecurity that is bedeviling the southeastern part of nigeria the the so solution has been on everybody's mouth both Tom, Dick, and Harry keep saying that the best solution to handle the insecurity that is currently going on in the southeastern part of Nigeria is by releasing MNK. And um, of course, you know that the president has not even made a speech on that. He has not even come on national television to address what is, what is currently happening in the southeastern part of Nigeria, which is very wrong. Because these people are your people. If actually you say, okay, yes, you are the president of the federation and you are actually being president and your, your work, according to you, you say that you want to come and balance power. That's according to one of your manifesto. Uh, you don't want to marginalize everybody. 
why is it that something is happening in a particular area and this issue has not been addressed since you assumed office somebody might likely say that yes the president is handling other uh, important matters what is important than what is more important than human lives that is the question what is more important than human lives people are dying people are, are leaving their homes people are, are deserting their, their their lovely homes people are moving out because of the insecurity economy is going down uh, uh, the economic activities in the southeast is being affected because of this thing and yet the the, the the president has not made any comment the vice president has not made any comment the senate is not saying anything about it judiciary on their own is very dominant about it so I think that the, the best solution to it is through political means. Now, let's go down to another information. Farmer killing Sunday Igoho gives headers seven days automaton to vacate Southwest. <laughs> of course, you see that uh, Sunday Igoho has, has come up again. He, ha he is giving headers seven days automaton to vacate Southwest. Let's go down to the full details of that information so that you'll be able to see what is currently going on. Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Goho has given suspected headers killing farmers in the southwest a seven-day automaton to vacate the region. The freedom fighter, however, assured that the region would not take laws into its own hands against the headers. A statement by Igoho reads partly, while we believe in peaceful coexistence in Nigeria regardless of tribe, religion, and political cleavages, we are issuing a seven-day automaton to headsmen killing our people in any part of the southwest to vacate our communities now. This warning is very important. We are not going to take laws into our hands, but they must leave. For now, we have believed we have believed in the cap capability of the federal government under the leadership of President Bola Tinubu to ensure and guarantee the safety of lives and properties, particularly farmers in Nigeria. We must not tolerate any act that can further push up the prices of food and other edible commodities. We are also appealing to Oyo and Ogun state governors to, as a matter of urgency, deploy more security agents and architectures to all the flashpoints where there is increase in Hessman farmer clash for peace to reign. Nigeria and our farmers in Agrarian settlements need more security presence now so that they can engage in small or large-scale farming activities for massive food production. These killings must stop now for the benefit of all. Uh, this one is coming from Sondi Igoho. Of course, uh, we actually have not gotten the full details of what transpired uh, between Sondi Igoho and the federal government or how he managed to come out of uh, Kotonu prison. But of course, without being told, you will know that the issue was handled politically and now the man is out from the, 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 the Togo prison. And when he came out, he was not looking like someone that was in prison. He, he was just looking very fresh, like a normal person, like somebody that has been living his life, living his full dreams all the while. And um, But look at MNK. Whenever he's brought to the, 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 the court, you see how he's looking and uh, the guy is, is, is becoming very haggard. It shows that there is a tough time for, for him there. There is a, a, a torturing for him there and the rest of them. The bad environment that, that coupled up with what he's facing, his, his health condition and the rest of it. You see that um, when people talk about this marginalization, how other people are being marginalized and how other people are being favored. And when you look at some of these things, uh, you know that... Practically, they are not lies. They are, they are, they are, they are atom of facts and truths in it. Uh, because um, there is this saying that na ago fonye fonye meke ne na oweke na anya bola si buago or di komela alo. I don't know if you are getting the point. Now, I think um the federal uh, the, 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 the the executive arm of the government should go ahead and see about what is happening. Uh, in the southeastern part of Nigeria. That's the best way to sort out these things. Let the federal government look into these matters, solve these things politically. Let the man be released from the DSS detention and see whether the insecurity in the southeastern part of Nigeria is going to die down. 
Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.